Hey, what is up guys? Klausnex here and welcome to another episode of Fitness Gimmick Friday, the show where we break down fitness gimmicks people seem to believe work. Today we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie, when I watched this video I thought, hey this looks pretty cool, maybe I would even want one of these in my house. Well, technically I already do have one of these in my house, but you'll see what I mean. I also want you to know that I almost watched this video and decided that I would make a video promoting this product because I thought there's only pros. And then we got near the end and well, you'll see what I mean. Mirror is a nearly invisible interactive home gym. It's a smart mirror that allows you to stream live and on-demand fitness classes. The reason why we built a mirror versus streaming content to your phone or your television is that the mirror really provides a uniquely immersive and interactive platform for content. You're able to see yourself, your instructor, your classmates, and all your personalized metrics on a single display. Okay, so basically what you've seen is that it's a mirror but it's also just kind of like a TV screen. It's basically a TV screen that's a mirror. Okay, let's not overcomplicate this. It's a big long screen that you put on your wall and this woman says the reason that they decided to go with the mirror instead of just streaming to a phone or a TV is because it provides a unique experience. It really does not. It is the same thing that you can find in a TV, on a YouTube workout, on an app. You know, this entire mirror could be done on an app, but the whole unique experience is that it's it's a mirror too and i don't know why it's it's like a benefit that you can see all your other classmates people other people doing the workout they're just icons that appear on the bottom of the screen it doesn't really mean anything it's not a unique experience and i know this is like it's like a home workout thing but like if you want that unique experience of like seeing other people doing the same workout as you do you might want to consider just going to an actual workout class which is not something that you can get through. Take a selfie. Okay, that's that's kind of a cool feature. I mean, if, if it was like a, like a attract your progress kind of a thing, you know, like your before and after and then all the pictures in between, that's kind of cool. It's also something that you can just do on your phone. Any other single platform. I think we also are living in a society where people don't want to add more screens into their life. I think the, the, the opposite of that statement is true. I think we're living in a society where people are trying to get as many screens as possible. Can I, yo, can I get that, that coffee maker with a touch screen? Ooh, is that a dialing thermostat? <sighs> this caveman's not using a touch screen thermostat. They want to have their home be their home. And are you aware that we're also living in a time where smart homes are becoming a thing? Where we're literally putting in smart light bulbs into the ceiling putting in smart outlets into our walls so that we can just talk to our house and it just does stuff for us that's the society we're living in now that's the road we're going down now it really is not much different than that and, and i don't know how this makes it any more your home as having a smart light bulb controlled by your smartphone and a you know maybe an extra screen here and there it's all it's all the same there is a way to have a piece of beautiful home decor that also then translates into an interactive content portal interactive content portal that's that sounds impressive. We really view Mirror to be a new category. You have your Pelotons or a whole breed of new smart gym equipment. So I guess here's the, tech, the Mirror technology on an exercise bike. So it's providing you the same features that would already come with like a new exercise bike. They already have screens in them. The, the Mirror thing is out the window. Unless you want to just look at yourself sweating while you're on the bike. The Mirror uniqueness, and, and I have to paraphrase everything with the fact that what makes this product unique is the mirror. So if you just use this technology on anything else and you're not using the mirror, the uniqueness doesn't apply anymore. It's just an expensive screen. Enjoy interactive, immersive experiences in home. The mirror is 49. Pick it up, John. Let's go, John. The mirror knows, the mirror knows all. The mirror's got a little camera. It's watching you too. Hey, John, pick up the slack. You know what you got into when you invested in this mirror? The mirror is $14.95. I'm sorry, $14.95? $14.95. You just thrown that number in there while that guy's doing some high knees in his living room? You're just gonna throw that number out like it's nothing? $14.95? No, just, just so we're clear. This isn't $14.95 we're talking about. We're talking about $1,495 for a mirror with a screen in it. I know, you probably thought at the beginning of this video, Zach, you're being so harsh. This is kind of a cool piece of technology. You see the price. You, you see this price. The mirror is $14.95 and then our users pay $39 a month to access unlimited live and on-demand classes. And then on top of that, you gotta pay monthly $39 just to access all the features that this thing has? Whew! Just maintaining this mirror on your wall is gonna cost you what a gym membership would. Live and on-demand classes. 
for most of our users. I, I also want to look back at like the big, like this guy's like it, everything we've seen so far is a workout synced with the person on the screen. And then the beginning of the video, I don't know what this woman's doing. She's doing some side step. Maybe she's doing her own thing. Maybe she's doing some improvising. Maybe she's thinking, screw this 1495 mirror on the wall. I'm doing what I want to do. And the mirror's on the wall saying, no, please go back to the workout. You, you, you're paying $40 a month to listen to me. ...who are paying $150 per month on average for studio classes or $200 per month for a premium gym membership. $200 a month for a premium gym membership? Where are you working out? What comes with a $200 gym membership? I worked at a gym for under $50 a month. You had access to a pool and spa equipment. I don't know what they're getting for $200 a month. Then again, these are the type of people that buy mirrors with screens in them. The mirror actually provides a cost savings. You're accessing unlimited classes for the cost of a single boutique fitness studio class. And for most of our users, it's a full household. Oh, no. now, now the mirror's doing the side jumps. Now she's not. Now she's watching the mirror. She's thinking, ha, I'm going to watch you work now. You were, you were on my ass before, now you can do it. In a studio class, and for most of our users, it's a full household purchase. So they're amortizing the costs across their usage and that of generally a partner and sometimes even kids in the same household. Okay, so that's the video. Um, the thing is, like, this is actually a really smart idea. It's just the price range completely blows the possibility of this ever catching on out of the water. That's, I saw this and I'm like, why? Why haven't I seen this? Why don't I have a, one of these in my room? That's awesome. It's a mirror that's a screen so you can see yourself while you're watching somebody else. That's that's kind of confusing. But anyway, I mean, it's kind of a cool concept. But at the same time, it's like, hey, I could just keep my TV and YouTube a workout for free. Hey, I could just do all that on my phone. So does the product do what it's supposed to do? Does it work the way that it's supposed to work? Probably, it pro you know, it probably does everything it claims to do. I don't know, because I don't have one. I mean, I have a mirror but I don't, I don't have this product. It's just, is that worth $14.95 and then $40 a month? I don't think so. That to me sounds like a bit of a scam. It doesn't sound like it's worth your money. I'm trying to think of what I would pay for something like this. And I mean, really, all it is, is an app that you can get on your phone. You pay, pay a dollar and you get workouts like this on your phone. It's just on a large screen. So really it's what you would pay for like a TV screen. So with the TV screen and the app worked into it, maybe 200, maybe that's too high. Uh, it sounds like something that I would ever pay for, but I mean, it's not 200, it's 14.95. So is it worth, you know what? Let me show you a good alternative. Okay, we got, we got the workout. Now, all I need is that unique experience that only a mirror can provide. Perfect. This fitness gimmick has been gutted.